welcome to the author's voice. This is, is the BBP Book Brilliance Publishing's platform to talk to some wonderful authors. And it gives me great pleasure today to introduce our latest author who is about to publish her book on the 9th of September, Claudia Bruce Forty. Hi. Hi, Claudia. Thank you very much for coming along to this chat. I don't like to call it an interview. It's a chat. It's a soul chat where we just chat about who you are, your authorship, your book, and what is your vision uh, for the book. So let's dive right in. So tell everybody a little bit about who you are and what you do. Great. So first of all, thank you, Brenda, for this opportunity to have this interview and to talk a little bit about um, what it is that I do and also about the book. I'm very excited for that and also excited about the journey that we have been on so far. So my name is Claudia Bruce Corte. I'm currently residing in Switzerland. I am a key account manager for a major software company um, at the moment. And besides that, I am also now a proud author, um, thanks to working with Book Brilliance Publishing. Um, so yeah, that's about me. I'm a mother of two. And based on that, uh, my first daughter has been my inspiration to write this book and also my son. Mm. Absolutely. And this book is um, very, very powerful because there's something here in the UK called the halo code mm -hmm. and your book is all around that mm -hmm. so do you want to tell us what that is and why you're so passionate about it so absolutely for me the reason why i'm so passionate about it in general is that i think for the first time there has been really an awareness around what it means to be different i am from Ghanaian heritage i come from ghana originally i was raised um born and raised in hanover germany but the feeling and just the sheer appearance of being different of being black has always been there and the most i think apparent uh, element of it is is always the notion around hair that our hair is different and and the difference it has always a very negative connotation and i'm in my 30s right now so i have had my fair share of experiences um negative and positive um around what my hair is now I have always, the moment I got my daughter, I made it very clear for me, it was an awareness that I want to create something very positive for her. I'll give you an example. When I was little in kindergarten and I was drawing, for example, I always used the color um, that everybody called skin color, but the skin color just had one color. It was the white color. And for me, it was normal. Now, growing up, I understood, no, it's not normal because we human beings, we look very different and I look very different. So my skin color is brown. So when I had my daughter, I made it very clear to myself and, and my husband, and we were very clear about it, that we want our daughter to understand that she, whenever, whenever she's going to use skin color, she will use her own skin color. She will use something that is skin to her. So this is what she has always been doing. One very vivid example that I um, that I remember is when she was around four or five years old, she was um, drawing Elsa, you know, the oh, frozen yeah. Disney. Frozen. And then Elsa had blonde hair. Absolutely. No problem. But she was brown. It was a brown Elsa. And, and she held and said, look, mom, I, I, I did uh, paint Elsa. So that's why I, I got to understand, OK, what whatever it is that we're trying to instill in her and teach her is really bearing bearing fruit. So then when she started going to school, I think the second and the, the second year it was in school where she kind of had little difficulties in school around her hair, that her hair looked different and her hair looked odd and she was different and she was odd. So this is where she had kind of a low moment. And even though me and her father, we always try to empower her, this is something that I, it, it got me back to where, where I was when I was her age and how that crushed me also a little bit and how I was fought, fighting with identity and who I was and what identity is good and what identity was bad, even though there's no judgment around, but when you're a child and you just see uh, the majority of identity being just one 
form in one part, you, you, you question yourself. You, you don't understand because you want to belong. Every child wants to belong. And I saw this with my child and I said, okay, you know something? The only tool that I have is to explain to you, this is our hair. This is how your hair grows. And there's nothing you can change about that. And it's not good or bad. It's just different. And you live in a society, we, we are originally from Ghana, but, and we have born and raised here in Europe, but the majority of the society has different hair than yours. And it, it has nothing to do with it being good or bad. It has just to do with being different. So I want you to understand that your difference doesn't make any difference towards who you are, good or bad. It's just the way it is. And I want to empower you and possibly every other child that has your age, that is your age and looks like you and wants to have that same empowerment. So this is how basically the book was born. Yeah, absolutely. And that story, you see, so this is a children's book. Let's make that clear. Yes. It's, a, it's a book for children um, to help them, as you said, accept that they're different and that different is good. Absolutely. There's no, no right or wrong. It's good and different is different. You know, and, and for me, it goes, it's really, really deep because it's all around that identi identity and belonging, which with Maslow's hierarchy of need is all human beings need to belong. We need to belong to something. So we have all our little groups. So like minded people find each other, don't they? So if you like fishing, you go and join a fishing group. If you like playing squash, you're in squash, you know, so whatever it is, we all are attracted like attracts like that is absolutely a fundamental human fact so um so i am really proud that you've chose to launch with bbp because we are absolutely passionate and want to champion diversity and inclusion and that's what this book is all about and um it's it's going to be a global book yeah um because you know there are black people all over the world. Yep. Do you want to say a little bit about um, how you feel about getting this message um, out on a global stage? So I feel very, very excited. Um, at the same time, I know that there is a huge responsibility also, right? Because what I, when I started writing the book, I was just trying to give my daughter a tool to help her in the situation to cope with something that she has until that age, until that stage, and she's very young, she was seven, right? She had never dealt with before, that somebody would judge her based on how she looks. So for me, it was just, how can I do this for mother? But very quickly, I understood, Claudia, this is something that lots and lots of Kimberleys need to hear, to see. Yeah need to create that space you need to provide that platform on a much bigger level than just the living room that and and just you know the school because this is a message that you needed to hear that I needed to hear when I was little this was a book that I needed to have in my hands when I was a little girl to deal with the different attacks and microaggressions we can call them such that I was dealing with and we're continuing to deal with as, as black and especially black women. So that's why I'm so excited to bring this book out, first of all, into the hands of every child. And there also I say it's not about black or white, but it's around identity, understanding that you can be different and you are beautiful in your difference that you have an identity that comes with so many facets that this world need. We live in such a fast paced environment that we need every little child from every little, from every background to come and feel and contribute to society, to, econo to economy, to politics, in order to make this world much, much better than this right now. It would be so boring and downright dangerous to have just one mind and one side to feel the challenges and to find solutions to the challenges that we're currently dealing with um, mm -hmm. in this world. So that's why I'm so much excited to have this book on a much glo on a global scale yeah. and bring it out to everyone and every girl and every boy also, because my son yeah. is also inside of that's it. That's right. So I was going to, um, um, that, that's where I was going next, because although the book started out yeah. about your daughter, we soon realized it's the same for little boys Absolutely. and men. And, you know, there's an identity 
there too. Absolutely. And um, so we've included some wonderful images yeah. of your son. And of yeah. course, there's our favourite one, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> it's father and son, uh, my goodness, it's my favourite picture um, in, in the whole book, you know. But let's talk about what it takes to, as an author, what it takes to write a children's book. So let's talk about where it started mm -hmm. and where we've ended up. Mm -hmm. So where it's it started, let's. I'm so I'm a, I'm a key account manager, so I um, do PowerPoints, right? I write and do a lot on PowerPoint and presentation. So this is how this started out. It started out on a PowerPoint together with my daughter, and we were trying to find rhymes and. It started out me taking pictures of her, of her hair. And then as I can't illustrate for, for the love of God, I couldn't illustrate my life dependent on it. I tried to find apps on the internet that would cartoonize her images and make it a little bit more child friendly. And then I just put it up in slides and I already the vision was there, but the realization of it Re wasn't really it was just you know scribble something up and then reading it to my daughter at night and then I don't know some I was I was then I was like okay I think this is something much bigger so let me look at different publishers out there and as a complete novice you look anywhere and everywhere but there's one particular I think post that caught mine that was that of book brilliance publishing um, i think it was around awaken your voice where authors from diverse backgrounds can come and share and i said that's it i'm gonna i'm gonna just you know i think it was i saw it in the 10 minutes that the, the it was starting and i said that's it i'm going i'm going i will just see what it is and i will see where it's going to take me and it was the most beautiful platform i had ever seen because oh, i i but it's serious because I wasn't, first of all, when you are a new publisher, when you have something in general, people will try to take you different routes. So I was very protective uh, around what I had created because I knew I wanted to create an impact and I wasn't in for just, you know, make some big sales and that's it. I was really in for the impact. And I thought that Book Berlin's publishing was really there to accompany me on that journey and on that vision and to make that vision come through realization. And also in the way, you know, kind of everybody's a family, people are very welcoming and warm. The authors are very welcoming and warm and uh, everybody's willing to share their journey. And for me, as a completely newbie on that field, it was very, very valuable because I took a lot on. And then also it's not just a publishing company. It's really so much more, so much more value that you get out around everything about the book and beyond. And this is what really made it so, I think it was absolutely no brainer for me to say, yes, yes, let's, let, let me do this. And also, I think you took the fear out of me to publish it. And I think this was for me the greatest takeaway on this journey as in oh. you brought this idea that I had in my head and then just placed on a PowerPoint, you brought it into realization. And I think this oh. is the most important thing for me. Oh my goodness, that is really, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't do reading the news. I'd been tears all the time <laughs> in stories. Um, thank you very much for your, your kind and powerful words. And actually, to hear back my vision and the vision of my team mm -hmm. from an author is, you know, th there's, there's, that's the reason why we exist. You know, that's the reason I do what I do and I get out of bed every day. So to hear it coming from you, I thank you most sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. And um, and you're right, it is more than the book, as you know, and it is in, um, we've written it in a, in rhyme so mm -hmm. that was good getting all the rhythms and <laughs> having fun making sure we could um, make sure uh, that happened and I suppose my 25 years experience as a teacher <laughs> kind of helped a little bit but, but what I want to talk about because that because integrity is our first value but collaboration mm -hmm. is our it's on the same level really yeah. and it's been a massive collaborative um process project absolutely. because we found the most amazing artists for you didn't we yes absolutely and, yes. 
absolutely yes it was a very very collaborative process a very understanding process also it was a learning for me and for um well tammy yeah. also our illustrator and um i'm just so grateful because it was a process where i never felt stifled even though again i don't know anything around illustration right but i had in my mind a vision of i knew this book the words as much as the images would be equally important if not more important because this is where the book was was going to the yeah. message and the visualization and tammy was so she took a step back and really tried to understand okay this what is she trying to bring how is she trying to how can i visualize what she has in her head and tammy did a wonderful we sat hours i can just remember the just i think it was the book cover itself we like it, it took us hours and, <coughs> hours and hours and not just on one call on several calls several alterations and tammy never said oh no i had not she was always there with an open mind with a growth mindset as okay how can i take this to the next level and for me it was also okay getting an understanding of what goes i mean what goes on in her artistic mind to bring this to life and what yeah. works and what doesn't it was a beautiful collaborative process mm -hmm. so thank you again also for bringing so many you know people on the team that carry that vision with you mm -hmm. because it makes it so much easier to work with everyone yeah. Uh, absolutely and you know so we are very um we value everybody in the team and um and we make sure that we're aligned so that those values that i've spoken about so far is the values of the people we work with and if we take anybody on and we realize that their values do not reflect ours they don't get a second chance <laughs> because you know, the, the author's at the heart of everything we do. So those mm -hmm. relationships need to be brilliant, you know. They need to be strong. They need to be understanding, compassionate and caring. And we've got a great front cover. We're not revealing anything in this interview. But we've got a great front cover because we've got all the Ghanaian, um, the Kentish, everything together. Yes. And then this absolutely striking front cover in all its colourful glory, you know. Um, and I think that's why it took so long. Yeah. And, and I think authors want to start working with someone like BBP. They realise that it's not overnight. No. So when I hear someone say, write your book in 30 days, I'm like, <laughs> you know, and as a teacher, I know that, you know, what where's quality in that? Yeah. And I don't mind saying that. Um, mm -hmm. I stand by that because I've got 25 years experience to know that anything worth its while and good it mm -hmm. isn't done overnight. It Absolutely. takes years and years of experience. Yeah. And what you can do doesn't mean to say someone else is going to do it yeah. because they've not got the same experience and expertise as you. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, yeah, so it's really exciting. It's been a very deep, deep journey. There's mm -hmm. been lots of learning. Um, and I think the way that you articulate yourself, as we can see in this um, chat that we're having today in the author's voice, um, the clarity you've got around where you started you know, it's it's ready to um, springboard you to the next level, mm -hmm. you know, because we started with values, vision and mission, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, so and you've touched on what your vision is. So you're marrying it with someone else called the, uh, another project that you work in, the Iconic Women. So can yeah. you just talk about those values? Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think we'll stop there because I'll have you back because there's <laughs> yeah. lots more to come. Yeah. Um, and we're just drawing together who you are, mm -hmm. the work that you do with women, yeah. and you as a children's author, yeah. how these triangulate and come mm -hmm. together as one. So do you mm -hmm. just want to tell us a little bit about those um, values? So, so, so I think the, the word that would sum it all up is being bold and fearless. Uh, this is the, the motto by which I live. It's, it, it's by which I live and dream because I think in the world that we are in right now, being bold and being fearless helps you out a lot. And marrying these two around the children's, around children and women in general um, is what drives me. Iconic Women is a platform that aims to educate, elevate and equip women, professional women especially, um, to you know, help them excel in the professional world and also in business to create confidence around them through masterclasses through podcasts and really bring their a-level around because 
I just think we women we rock, right? Just let's yes, just put it out there. Absolutely, we rock. Yeah, <laughs> we rock. You know, when we suppose, you know, exactly. when you see the pose, you know, exactly. this is spirited. This is a spirited woman. Absolutely both brave and beautiful. So absolutely. we use the same language. That's how aligned we are. Exactly. Our language is exactly the same. <laughs> that, that that's the point. So what we do with iconic women, iconic women, the network and the sisterhood that we create is what makes this network so powerful that everyone comes in and cheers for another sister, brings her up, up levels her. And the same I'm trying to, you know, bring to the younger generation. And um, I'm a mentor, a youth mentor, also by passion in general. So I, I like, what is it that I can do to bring, you know, to the younger generation, we need to children. And that's where also the, the, the children's book idea came into place as then I would want to create something as equally powerful for a younger generation that then will become all iconic women. Absolutely, absolutely. And what a wonderful place to um, stop for the moment. We're just pausing because we're going to come back and, and speak more on the expert's voice in, a, in a, a few weeks' time. But Claudia, it has been, oh, this is where I get emotional. It's been an absolute pleasure Thank beyond you. words working with you. Our Saturday mornings have been a joy, <laughs> absolutely a joy. Um, we have kind of missed one or two with yeah. other thing, but on the whole, for the last what four or five months or so, yeah. Saturday mornings, nine o'clock my time, ten o'clock your time, yeah. have been a joy. And we've we've had the kids come in and, yeah. and we've had their say and we've asked them their opinion. Do you like this? Do you not like that? So we're we're listening to the voice of the young because after all, this is what my hair, my choice, your, your book um, is all about. And I can't wait to bring it to the world. And that is where we're going to focus our energy um, here on in. And there's going to be a lot more and let COVID go away because we need to get you here. Yes, Because the, yes. the halo code in the UK is massive. It's at government level. Yes. So um, I think your voice needs to be heard. It needs to be shared. And it needs to be amplified by people like myself mm -hmm. and other organizations that are all about diversity and inclusion yeah. and women power. Women power. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you for everything. Okay, you're welcome. So there you have it. We have our beautiful new author, Claudia Bruce Corte, all the way from Switzerland. And it's just been a pleasure working with her. So until the next time when we bring you another author, this is Brenda Dempsey, CEO of Book Brilliance Publishing, saying, remember, be brilliant. Much love. Until the next time. Toodle pip. Bye.